I will be the first to admit that math was not my favorite subject in school, and in fact it made me hella anxious. But I've definitely warmed to it, especially since I heard about the ham sandwich theorem. What? A girl loves to eat. Oh, and also the fact that it might help us better understand our universe, but whatever. Let's take a step back and start with pancakes. That's a bit of a departure from the universe and ham sandwiches, but this whole smorgasbord will eventually make sense, I promise. The pancake theorem states that if I have a pancake on a plate, there's at least one cut that I can make to divide that pancake in half. Simple. If I add another pancake on the plate, no matter where it is, there's gonna be at least one cut that I can make through both of them that will allow me to divide both pancakes in half. Again, simple enough. But that's because the pancake theorem technically only deals in two-dimensional space. Like these pancakes that we're talking about are perfectly flat, as if they were pancakes that we've just drawn on a piece of paper. The ham sandwich theorem takes the concept and moves it into the three-dimensional world that we actually live in. Okay, I'm about to drop a math formula on you here, but I want you to stay calm and stay with me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Given n measurable objects in n-dimensional Euclidean space, it is possible to divide all of the objects in half with respect to their volume with a single n minus one dimensional hyperplane. Yeah, I know, I read that sentence when I was first researching this episode and I was like, no, there's no way. But it turns out this convoluted statement actually expresses something remarkably simple and useful. So I want you to come on an imaginary adventure with me. Say we have a ham sandwich. That's our n measurable objects, our three measurable things. Two slices of bread and one slice of ham. We're being stingy with the ham, okay? In three-dimensional space, it's possible to use a single cut to divide the sandwich in half, no matter where the three items are. Now, this doesn't just mean that the sandwich as a whole can be halved. If we're defining our sandwich as our three items, bread, bread, and ham, even if we dropped our sandwich on the floor and the three items were all over the place, yeah, we could draw one plane that would divide the entire volume of the sandwich in two. But it also means, and this is where it gets really cool, that each individual item in the sandwich, no matter where they are in space, can be divided perfectly in two with one plane. This part is easier to picture if we get rid of gravity and picture the pieces of our ham sandwich floating in the air. And it doesn't matter where they are, they could be right next to each other or on opposite ends of the universe. There is still at least one magic plane that could bisect all of the ingredients perfectly with one cut. Okay, so this is cool and made us do some fun mental gymnastics, but I'm never gonna drop my ham sandwich on the floor and then whip out my calculator like, let me find the magic line that divides all these in two. So exactly how is this important or useful? Well, a paper that came out a few years ago wanted to explore exactly that and came to some cool conclusions, stating that at any given instant of time, there is one planet, one moon, and one asteroid in our solar system with a single plane touching all three that exactly bisects the total planetary mass, the total lunar mass, and the total asteroidal mass of the solar system. All of this is to say, theoretical mathematics like this helps us understand the very nature of the way the universe behaves. We can use things like the ham sandwich theorem, along with our understanding of physics and the natural sciences, to help us make things like computer simulations of everything from atomic phenomena to the movement of celestial bodies. Man, the world is crazy and beautiful. And who knew that talking about ham sandwiches could turn this former math phobe into, dare I say, a math enthusiast. You like our videos, but you haven't subscribed? Something doesn't add up. Subscribe to Seeker to keep understanding more about our universe, and check out this video about how a universe could have bumped into ours. And just FYI, the original creator of the ham sandwich theorem was named Hugo Steinhaus, and he worked out this problem while hiding from the Nazis in a Polish farmhouse during World War II. Badass. I'm Marin. Thanks for watching Seeker. <laughs>